What's up, modern steaders? We need to cut down a tree, and it's a dead tree, before we can stop building the outdoor kitchen. So today, it's supposed to rain, it's supposed to get around an inch of rain today, so I don't think we're gonna be putting up any of the structure today. Man, unless for some reason, the weather decides to change. Keep our fingers crossed. We got this cherry tree out here. We need to take care of that before we can build. having to get a rope in the tree. Being a dead tree, it doesn't always do what you want it to do. So we have it cut, we have it notched, now we gotta try to pull it over. This could get interesting. I don't know how much of that we got on the camera or not. We'll find out, you'll know before me. But at least it's down and it's in the woods. Makes me feel a lot better. I hate cutting dead wood. You never know what it's gonna do. Even better part is we got it to fall in the woods so we don't gotta worry about cleaning it up right away. I'll show you what I mean by chainsaw wedges. They're just a plastic material. This way you can cut into them with your chainsaw and you're not going to dull your chain. They're pretty inexpensive. They make thicker and thinner ones. But I'll leave a link for these down below. They come in very handy. Let's get the first cup in. We're making progress. Like that. Let's get the other ones done. These might just be cups to you, but when you've been working and planning on a project, and we've been planning this for over two years, not completely, but in our head we've been dreaming about one. We have a bunch of stuff saved. We have, last year we got the trusses, this spring we got the post and beams. We've had an outdoor antique wood cook stove we plan on putting out here for two years. No, three years we've had that now. So it's nice to see everything coming together. And you can picture yourself having family dinners out here and cookouts and doing a lot of your canning and keeping the mess outside that's normally inside. Which way do you want? It's like this, just like this. Just like that, okay. So I'm just laughing. Um, uh,
come to me quite a bit. It's been raining pretty good today. I had to change my clothes a couple of times, but we made awesome progress on the post and beam structure for our off-grid outdoor kitchen. Check it out. Boom. Look at that. We couldn't take you along because it was downpouring. Bring you over this way. We've got one of our trusses set up there. 
We're gonna have an overhang in the front. It's still raining out pretty good, so let me quickly show you what we did to secure the beam. You can't, let's see, we toe nailed them in, and then of course, uh, 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 we put some nice big 10 inch long lag bolts down into the posts. That's what it looks like from here. Very happy with the progress we made today. Tomorrow we should be able to get the trusses on. Fingers crossed we'll get the trusses on. And we'll get it all strapped and then I can order the tin for the outdoor kitchen. This is gonna be great. Pretty soon once the tin's on here, if it's raining out, I won't be getting wet in here. I can't wait for that. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow and we'll be working more on the outdoor kitchen. See you tomorrow.